Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our 3 Minutes with the Word audio devotional. Today's topic is Power in Unity Part 3, Security. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 12. Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him, and a threefold cord is not quickly broken. Another benefit of believers coming together in unity is safety and security. When we truly gather in love and in oneness, the Bible shows us through our anchor scripture that we are better able to withstand external attack. I am minded of a story in Acts chapter 4 and verse 29, where the disciples had been threatened by the authorities to no longer preach in the name of Jesus, else they would be dealt with. Verse 23 of that scripture says, As soon as they were released, Peter and John returned to the other believers and reported the threats. What did these guys do? They began to pray in one accord. Their fear again led them to look upon Jesus. I love reading about the early church. It is so inspirational and I am praying for a return of such love and compassion and faith. Together, these guys began to pray until the whole place was shaken physically. Their prayers always released such tremendous power because they were united. There was no struggle for position or ambition to be greater than one another. All they knew was Jesus, Jesus crucified, Jesus glorified. That was their focus and that was their security. So they prayed until those who came in timid went out in verse 31, preaching the word of God with boldness. Our scripture says, Though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him and a threefold cord is not easily broken. There is power in unity. Even in the secular, there is power in unity. But just think of all the power that avails by people being united and add the presence of God to that mix. Just think about how powerful our gatherings can become if we discern truly the body of Christ. There is still so much about unity I would love for us to talk about. But I want us to think, meditate and pray about the next Christian fellowship we will be attending. Never get over familiar with your gatherings. Know that you are stepping into an arena of possibilities where blessings await you and where you are changed to become more and more like Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Thank you for this mystery that is the unity of your body. Thank you for all you have packaged and prepared for us as we fellowship with other believers. Please give us the grace to be discerning and to go into our gatherings focused and with one agenda alone to glorify you. As we glorify you, O God, do that which only you can do. Continue to take all the glory, Almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.